Okay, well, uh, I am originally from Scotland and I have lived and worked in uh, many places. Uh, in Denmark, which is where I currently am the director of Copenhagen International School, in Shanghai in China, in Atlanta in the United States, uh, as well as my uh, hometown and my home country of Scotland. I have three children who live in Scotland who are uh, 32, 26 and 24 and uh, I'll be joined here in Senegal by Katerina who will be my wife by the time we arrive, and Lucas, who is currently three years old. Well, I actually started my career in uh, hospitality management and working in a five-star hotel in Edinburgh. But my mum was a teacher. Uh, she was originally a secondary school English teacher, and then she became a primary school teacher. So I feel like I grew up around teaching and education and it felt like it was in my blood. And I remember making the transition from working in a hotel to uh, working in a school, and it just felt like I was at home, and I felt like I was in exactly the right place. Uh, and since then, uh, I have been in education for 25 years, and uh, have been in educational leadership for around 15 years. So uh, I was very happy as director of Copenhagen International School. It's a fantastic uh, place to live uh, and a fantastic school to work in. But it was International School of Dakar, ISD, that really lured me away because uh, of everything that's happening in this school. It feels like uh, this is a fantastic community, a community that has a, a beating heart uh, where people really come together uh, work together uh, and care for one another and a community that has the courage uh, to take on uh, challenges of the day, challenges that uh, plague this world uh, around equity and inclusion uh, and I'm really excited to be a part of a community uh, that's brave enough uh, to really make inroads in those aspects. So uh, the school uh, really excites me and since I've been here in Senegal for a few days only. Uh, I've received a very warm welcome uh, and I'm very impressed by everything I've seen so far. Really looking forward to the adventure, really looking forward to being a part of this community and leading this school. Well, I started my career uh, working in a five-star hotel and I think that maybe one day again I will be find myself behind a bar. Uh, if not, I would have loved to have been a rally driver, and, uh, just because of the, the excitement and so on. But I'm not sure that I'm as skilled uh, as that uh, as I am leading an educational institution. Well, I've been extremely fortunate to travel and live in many parts of the world. One place that I think would be fascinating to see is Antarctica, because I think that it is completely different to everywhere else on Earth. I think that it would be really eye-opening, not least in seeing the impact of climate change and how that impacts wildlife and could therefore impact the rest of the world.